Hello everyone. So welcome to this new video. So here we are going to continue with the module three and module four model question paper solutions for uh, the tomorrow's exam network analysis. Okay. So yeah, we have uh, made a bit delay of providing you these uh, two module questions because we were having some of the issues. So yeah, so we have uh, brought with you the solutions for uh, module three and module four. So yeah, now let's start. So this is the first question of the module three, five A. In the network shown in figure, a steady state is reached when the switch K is open. Here, the switch K is open, and at the time t greater than zero, this zero plus indicates that t is greater than zero, and the switch is closed. Okay, so we need to determine the value of uh, V A when time is greater than zero and V A when time is less than zero. Okay, so yeah, this is a given circuit here. So at steady state, first write the condition. In the inductor acts as a short circuit. After that, uh, draw, uh, re, uh, redraw the circuit. Mark the currents. Calculate the equivalent resistance here. We got it as 7.5, and also calculate the current value. We got it as 0.66. And in order to in order to find the voltage VA, uh, we have to find the current I1 here. So it is given as I into 10 divided by 40. So I1 we got it as uh, 0.166 amps. And after that, I1, we will be giving it as 5 minus Va of 0 minus by 10. After that, cross multiply, 10 I1 is equal to this. Then bring this Va of 0 minus to one side. Then uh, we get it as 5 minus 10 I1. That is, I1 value, we have got it as 0.166, right? So substitute that. And uh, we will be getting the Va of 0 minus value here, 0.334, okay? So yeah, please refer it if you want. So the problem is not done yet. So now the inductor current when switch was open, IC of 0 minus is equal to I is equal to 0 0.066 amps. Okay. So now at T greater than 0, the equivalent circuit would be like this here. The switch is closed. The condition was given, right? The switch is closed when T is uh, greater than 0. And IL of 0 minus IL of uh, then the current IL when time greater than 0 and less than 0 are the same again. And after that, apply KCL at node V. Uh, v not here, where I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 here. See, the current is flowing this way and it gets split in these two branches, right? So we can say that I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Then uh, substitute the value for I1, I2, and I3. Then solve this equation, we'll be getting one equation, name this as equation 1. Then apply KCL at node VB. This is node VA, okay? So now apply KCL at node VB again, where I3 plus I4 is equal to 0 0.66, substitute the value for I3, I4, then solve this equation, we will be getting uh, another one equation like this here, this is equation 1, and this is equation 2 here. So we need to solve these two equations in the calculator by putting the coefficients, after that we will be getting the answer for VA of 0 plus, okay, as 1.904. So this is the solution for the first question here. You can uh, pause the video if you want to get refer it down and practice it. So this is 5B now. For the circuit shown in the figure, the switch S is changed from the position 1 to 2 at t equal to 0 and the steady, uh, the steady state is reached at position 1. Define the value of i, uh, di by dt, d square i by dt square at t is, is equal to 0 plus. That is when t is greater than 0. We need to assume that the capacitor is initially uncharged. Okay. So yeah, this is a provided circuit here. So here the condition is in steady state inductor will act like a short circuit and a capacitor acts like a open circuit. Okay. Uh, the time at steady state is equal to is given as T of 0 minus. That is at steady state time would be less than 0. For that we need to calculate I of 0 minus here. We would be getting it as a 2 ampere and we know that uh, current uh, when time is greater than 0 and less than 0 are same in case of a, uh, inductor. So I of 0 plus and I of 0 minus both are equal to 2 amps here. So again redraw the circuit and for T greater than or equal to 0, the circuit is shown like this here. Okay. So apply the loop here. So write the necessary formulas here. See for integral we have, for inductor we have a formula that 1 by L uh, integral of I T D T. Substitute that. Then at T equal to 0 plus what would be your value. Uh, again substitute that. And uh, finally we will be getting the answer for uh, Di by dt as minus 20 ampere per second okay then again we need to differentiate this equation star here we differentiate this equation a here this uh, 
equation they they write that mention it as equation a again we need to differentiate it because we not we need to we needed to find the d square i by dt square right so that we need to again differentiate it solve it and we will be getting uh, d square i by dt square as uh, minus 1.99 into 10 to the power 6 ampere per second okay yeah so i have when we know that i have 0 plus equal to 2 amp and di by dt is equal to minus 20 amp and d square i by dt is equal, equal to minus 1.99 into 10 power 6 ampere per second square okay so yeah we need to note down these things so next question here for the circuit shown in figure the number of zero capacitor voltage and zero inductor current when switch k is open at t is equal to zero and the switch k is closed uh, so we need to solve for v1 v2 and uh, v1 and v2 at t is greater than zero and we need to solve for dv1 and D, dv1 by dt as well as dv2 by dt at t equal to zero first we need to find v1 v2 after that we need to find their derivatives so this is your given circuit here the switch is given here open and closed condition both also are given so now apply kvl uh, name this uh, loop as i1 apply kvl there and this is the equation we get name it as equation 1 apply kvl to loop 2 and name it as equation 2 and write all the necessary conditions here at t equal to 0 the switch is closed and at t greater than 0 the equivalent circuit would be that the inductor acts like open circuit and capacitor acts like short circuit okay uh, then after that apply those conditions and uh, rewrite the circuit here again and write the necessary equations and we would be getting i1 of uh, 0 plus that is i1 when t is greater than 0 we would be getting it as v by r1 name it as equation 3 again now current at t equal to 0 plus this one so now v2 is equal to i2 into r2 at t equal to 0 plus and v2 of uh, at t is equal to 0 plus that is v2 of 0 plus is given as i2 of 0 plus into r2 so we know that i2 of 0 plus equal to 0 substitute that so we will be getting v2 of 0 plus as 0 here okay again differentiate this in order to find the dv2 by dt and again we would be getting it as 0 and from equation 2 here uh, now consider equation 2 and substitute the uh, some of the values here and now at t equal to 0 plus the equation 4 would be looking like this here that is uh, v1 equal to minus i2 r2 minus 1 by c integral of i2 minus i1 dt equation 4 so at t equal to 0 plus equation 4 becomes v1 of 0 plus minus uh, i2 r2 of 0 plus uh, equal to 0 so bring uh, this uh, v1 of 0 plus to one side okay so i2 uh, i2 of 0 plus equal to 0 right substitute that so we will be getting again v1 of 0 plus equal to 0 volt okay Again at uh, uh, V2 is equal to I2 R2 at T equal to 0 plus again substitute the same thing. Okay. So this is the solution for the here dv2 by dt again we get it as 0 volt per second. And from equation 4 again we have uh, this thing uh, differentiate the equation now at t equal to 0 plus the above equation can be written as like this, it can be written like this. And we need to calculate v1 and v2 at t equal to infinity here uh, inductor is short circuit capacitor is open circuit then calculate it then v, uh, v2 and v1 at t equal to infinity we will be getting these two values here okay so yeah these are the final parameters that you need to be knowing and writing it okay so if you want you can pause the video and refer it completely if you have not understand it so i'm going to the next question now 6b the network is in steady state with switch k closed at t equal to 0 and the switch is open. Uh, determine the voltage across the switch vk and dvk by dt at t equal to 0 plus. Okay. So this is a given circuit when t is less than 0 the switch is closed. The circuit is at steady state and at steady state write again the uh, conditions and apply that condition and we will be getting the value for i of 0 minus as 2 ampere. And now at t is 0 plus the circuit is shown below like this. Uh, Vk is equal to 1 by C integral of it dt and Vk of 0 plus is equal to 1 by C integral of it dt then differentiate it. So when differentiating this integral gets cancelled so i of 0 plus divided by C. So we get 2 divided by 0.5 and we will be getting the answer as 4 volt per second. Okay. Yeah, so that's all. 
So these are the solutions for the third module. So now let's quickly go to the solutions for our fourth module now. Okay. So these are the solutions for fourth module here. That is in the circuit shown. The question here is the first question is 7A. In the circuit shown, the source voltage Vt is given as 50 sine 250T volt. It's of the form A sine omega T. So the value of omega is 250. And uh, using Laplace transform, we need to determine the current when switch, switch K is closed at T equal to 0. So when switch K is closed at T equal to 0 and uh, T when T is less than 0, the current is given as 0 ampere. So now at T equal to 0, the switch will close. The equivalent H domain circuit is shown below here. Okay, so you are calculated Vt is equal to 50 sin 250T. So Vs is given as uh, 50 into uh, sin omega t formula is omega divided by s square plus omega square. The value of omega is 250. Substitute that. Okay, and then uh, put this equation here. So after that, apply KVL of this loop. We would be getting V of s equal to 2.5 I of s plus 0 0.0055 I of s. I take I of s common in this equation. We will be getting 2.5 plus 0 0.0055. So I of s is equal to P of s divided by this. Bring this term to other side. So it will be divided by then 0 0.0055. Take it common outside and we will be getting 200 V s equal to s plus 500. That is equal to I s. Okay. So uh, I s equal to 200 V, uh, v s and V s. We have written it here, right? 15 to 250 divided by s square plus 250 square. Again, uh, uh, multiply this, we would be getting 2.5 into 10 power 6. Again, uh, simplify using partial fraction method here. Uh, do the following simplifications. So, find the following values for A, B, and C. After that, substitute it. So, this would, we would be getting your final I of, I of S in this way. So, now the, we need to take inverse Laplace transform on both sides so that we would be getting the uh, final answer of I of T. Okay. So, this is your final answer. So please make a note of this again. This is a very important question. So next question is the signal. They have given a signal here. We need to determine the Laplace transform of the following waveform here. Okay. So here the first thing in these kind of questions, we need to count how many signals are there here. So here we can see that this is a RAM function here, one RAM. And after that, it's becoming constant, right? So we need to draw another negative ramp in order to make it constant. And after that, there is a delayed step function here. And after that, there is an one more ramp. And there is an again delayed step function. And there is one more ramp. And after, you know, and after that, it's constant, right? It is stopped here. So in order to stop it, we need to draw a negative ramp. So therefore, in total, we have eight signals here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For all those eight signals, write the equations. Name it as f1 of t, f2 of t, f3 of t, f4 of t, up to f8 of t. Write all the equations here uh, for all the uh, step function, ramp functions and all. So you need to be knowing that. And after that, f of t is the summation of all those terms. Substitute that and take the Laplace transform on both sides. So here the Laplace transform of t, u of t, all the individual terms you will be writing it here like this. Okay. So this is your final answer, f of s. So in the 8a, next question is we need to determine uh, Vc of t and the current Ic of t for t greater than or equal to 0 for the circuit shown below. So this is the circuit shown, right, the all conditions, if t is greater than 0, the switch is closed and the circuit will be in steady state and a steady state capacitor acts like an open circuit. Uh, find the value of current 4 by 3, then Vc of 0 minus is given as 3 into 4 by 3, that's equal to 4 volt at t greater than or equal to 0. The equivalent circuit as domain is shown below. We need to apply KVL on the given loop, and we will be getting here by while applying KVL, we will be getting the value of IC of S like this 2 by 3 into divide by S plus 2 by 3. Name it as equation 1. Now we take Laplace transform of at equation 1, we will be getting IC of T as 2 by 3 e to the power minus 2 by 3 T into U of U T. Okay. Yeah. So again, then I redraw the circuit here. After that, uh, find the uh, value of uh, Vc of S. We would be getting it as this equation we will be getting here. And we need to solve this equation too using partial fraction again. Uh, put the necessary values and find the value for A, uh, B and C. Then substitute uh, all the uh, necessary equations. Uh, substitute equation 3 and 2 
after that uh, split it again and we will be getting a final uh, vc of t that is the inverse uh, laplace transform as 6 u of t minus 2 e power minus 2 by 3 t into u of t okay so this is your solution so please uh, pause the video and refer it if you want so this is another one a periodic function waveform determine the laplace transform of this periodic function okay so we need to find the periodic function of this for that we need to consider only a single cycle that is from uh, here to here this one full complete cycle we need to consider it and in this uh, uh, cycle we need to count how many waveforms are there okay yeah. so in this the, we have one step step signal here right and after that uh, there we have a delayed ramp from this point only and after that there is an uh, there is another uh, in order to make this constant uh, this is a uh, in order to make this constant we need to draw another ramp signal here and after that a step ramp okay step function there in total there will be four signals here write all the equations for all the four signals then add them up and uh, take a laplace transform on both sides and we will be getting the answer of uh, f dash of s or f1 of s that we need to we need to be multiplying with 1 divided by 1 minus e power ts okay and this would be your final answer for the periodic function so again please refer all of these very very carefully again these are very very important ones so yeah that's all so we have provided you all the solutions now so please uh, practice it very well so from these questions there might there are chances that uh, these kind of questions would be appearing for exams for tomorrow's exams please please practice very well like share subscribe so please uh, share it because uh, this might be useful for uh, most of them okay so if you want uh, uh, videos related to other subject upcoming exam like max uh, computer science and uh, computer organization and architecture coa related to ec uh, you can uh, refer our playlist here it will be appearing on the right of your screen here so please uh, refer those videos as well and uh, make a note of the, uh, those, those things as well and uh, please do score good marks in the exams so that's all thank you